Okay, we're talking now about uh, camera angles. Uh, the camera angle is determined uh, compared to the normal heat of the eye. I mean, now, uh, as you see me right now on Zoom, uh, we're talking about eye level, right? I mean, from the heat of the viewer. It's neutral, objective, a common angle. I don't seem uh, weird or superior or inferior, right? I mean, it's really uh, from eye to eye. Uh, but in a film, in filmmaking, we talk about various angles, yes, and each of them is transmitting something different to the viewer. For instance, if we switch from eye level to high angle, then we have the camera placed somewhere above, and you see from up above everything. If a character is filmed that way, the viewer will feel that the character goes through a state of tension and pressure. The character will look small and I don't know, like a burden. If we see a scenery, you can have all the details from above. Let's look at some examples and discuss them. It also serves as an introduction on a scenery, on an action, yes. You have the impression that you as the viewer are up above and see everything from there and get a whole picture, yes. Uh, sometimes when a character has to make a decision, you see it from above. It's, a, it's an interesting perspective. Uh, imagine if you have a product or something, you can see it from above. It's like um, your God, right? And you see everything uh, really, really powerful. And there are a lot of directors and that shoot commercials and movies that love this angle because it's, it can be really, really spectacular sometimes, as you can see. The opposite of this uh, angle is the low angle. Yes, here the camera is placed below and the character is seen from below. This angle can suggest that the character is powerful, is dominant, gigantic. Also, the contrary, uh, it will transform him into a caricature, something funny if it's a comic context, yes? So let's take a look at some low angle examples. Yes, it can also be a spectacular. It can be someone's point of view. If we talk about a child, uh, someone is presenting, uh, someone is presented more uh, like a dominant person. And there are various directors like Tarantino who, who love this uh, kind of angle. Um, in a commercial, you can see it when you present a product from, uh, from below. So the low angle is also used uh, pretty, pretty often. Uh, different types of angles are the hip level, the knee level, and the ground level. So as the name suggests, the camera is placed lower than the eye level. Yes. So at the heat of the hip, at the heat of the knee, uh, or at the ground. Why would we do that? What, why would we want to shoot like this? For instance, to represent the point of view of a child or an animal or follow the character, yes? Or see something, a detail below that is really important, yes? Important, important detail in the frame. Um, there are also extreme angles, yes? Almost vertical ones, as you saw in the, in the examples here, in the high angle and low angle examples, um, almost vertical, yes? Like placing the camera completely up above the scenery or completely below facing up, yes? These angles should be used with, um, with a purpose, with a meaning, not just for uh, the... Um, I don't know, because they're spectacular, because um, when used with a purpose, they are really, really transmitting something to the audience. Uh, we can also talk about another type of uh, angle. This is the Dutch angle. Why do we use the Dutch angle in the, in the videos? Because they express something um, weird, something, I don't know, like a certain moment, certain action, certain point of decision of the character that needs to be presented like this, so that the audience gets the illusion that, hmm, something is happening. It's a turning point, it's, um, it's a conflict, it's a um, tension in the interior of the character, yes? Yeah? So it's something uh, perceived most of the time 
subconsciously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't don't actually uh, understand rationally that it, it's the camera is placed. So I don't know weird and not uh, not straight but you have you have a feeling yes because movies about feelings so you have the feeling that something is wrong or something is about to happen and the last type of angle that i want to discuss with you is the over the shoulder it's mostly used in dialogue scenes where you want to build a relationship between the two talking characters i mean you don't want to see only a and then B and then again A and then B. So you want to see this over the shoulder so that you can build um, a connection between the two. Uh, you can see the reactions. You see that they're both at the same time, at the same place. Yes, it's, it's really about the connection. So think about this angle as well. It's not necessary use with uh, medium shots. You can use uh, over the shoulder. Well, most of the time it's media shot because you can really see the shoulder, but you can also use it with uh, other types of shot uh, sizes.